Afternoon, everybody. Today I bring you the skinning of a rabbit. I will be showing you the steps along the way. I hope for any of you that are just starting out with rabbits or any other kind of game or livestock that it's useful to you in your skinning adventures. So enjoy, take care. Hello, so as I said, we have a rabbit here that we are going to skin. So I wanna show you the process of how we do that. Um, I'm pretty familiar with skinning rabbits and other small game. I've done several of them. Am I an expert? By no means I'm not an expert, but um, hopefully if you've never done this before, I can give you some insight on some good ways to do this. Um, now, when I skin, a lot of the times I'll take the head off right here um, before I start the skin. I want to try to take the skin off the head completely. So we're gonna kind of experiment a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is start up here at the foot and I make a little slit here around the foot. Now you gotta be careful back here not to cut that little tendon. Um, if you cut that little tendon, you could lose um, your tie here. So you wanna kind of make a little slice here and then we'll go from there. Back up, honey. Back up a little bit. All right. So right here where I have the tie, I'm going to make a little slice around. You don't want to go too deep. Just enough to make a little slice around. All right. Now you'll start to see the skin and the meat here. So what I want to do is from the inside, here's the belly. So from the inside, I'm going to make a line from where I sliced around and we're going to come down to the center. So I'm going to make a nice little line down. The nice thing about rabbit is their skin is kind of thin and it's not too thick. So you, and it's a good thing and can be a bad thing um, with how thin their skin is because you want to be careful. You don't want too many holes or cuts or tears. So I'm just following this line down until the skin starts to separate from the meat. Yeah, there's lots of fur you'll see flying around here. Alright, so if you can see here, we have the skin that's going to start separating from the leg. I have it down to here so far. So I'm just going to start working this fur and skin very gently. You don't want to cut into the meat, you just want to kind of graze that skin so that it starts to separate and it pretty much does it naturally there's really not much work you have to put into it so again just be careful that you don't cut into the fur into the skin and we're just gonna slowly gum around and separate just like so see how it's starting to come off exposing more of that leg so that's what we do. We just go all the way around. Okay. I'm going to get that slice here to come more toward the middle. A little bit. Now I'm going to stop on this leg and I'm going to come over on this leg now. So we're going to do the same thing. Make a little slice here and we're going to come down. Right, now I'm going to make that slice, come down and meet right here in the middle with this other slice. Try and make it so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Sometimes these angles don't help any. Hey, Tuna, can you come over here? 
-hmm. Just hold the rabbit still for me because I'm having a problem with that. Yeah, there we go. So it does help to have another person um, to come in here and hold it still just so you can stop swinging around on you. And if you prefer, you can always take it in on a table and lay it flat on the table and do the same process. I prefer to have them hanging. I just find it easier. Climbing the tree over there. The hobbits are enjoying their spring afternoon here now that it's finally warm. Climbing trees and running around. Oh, we have the bunny. All right. See, I'm having trouble with the ankle here. Hold it yeah, just like that. Once I get this angle down in here, we'll be good to go. Be careful. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's good enough for now. Let's get work on getting this skin off of here on this side. Can you see that? Maybe come around here so you can see this side. Okay, so we're going to go home, just slowly work around this leg. See, I'm barely yeah, touching. Funny. I'm not cutting into anything. I am slightly grazing over this meat. Just to separate that skin. Now, if you see here, I can kind of pull this back here, and there's a little membrane there that I can just slip into, and I can just kind of pull it up just like that. Now, I got it off the leg here, so I'll still keep working all the way down. Okay. All right, I'm going to work on this side. Can you hold it straight, please? Okay. Don't let it swing. Okay, come down. I'm going to work around. This side is always easier for me for some reason. It feels awkward on that side. So, so I got that done and over with quicker. All right, kind of work that around. Loosen that skin up. Okay. Again, you see, you got that membrane right here. I can kind of go right in there, go up. And there we go. And then I can just work it down. Here's some turkey out in the woods. Okay. All right. So now we're kind of down to this little V here. Let me try to get this side over here to meet up with this side. Mm -hmm. All right, so I can just kind of do that now. Got a little bit of fat there. All right. And here we are again. We're starting to undress this here. Start working our way around again. Now, as now that we have a handful here, you can kind of, as you're working this, you can pull a little bit, and you'll see it kind of like 
just pulls off pretty easily like you're taking your shirt off inside out. There's really not much pressure to do that. You know, obviously you want to take it gentle and easy. You don't want to rip it. So as you work, just, you know, work that skin down. You can tug on it down a little bit. It helps it come off. All right, you can move your hand. All right, so now that I have this open here, I'm going to make another slit down towards the neck. Straight down the middle you want to go. Okay. Now you want to be careful because obviously here is all the guts and all that. So we don't want to cut that open quite yet. And if it happens, it happens, you know, don't stress about it, but you know, you'll know next time kind of where to have your knife so that that doesn't happen. You have some nice winter skin here, so it's pretty thicker, I guess. So as we work at this, it'll come, just loosen itself up. You know, rabbits are good um, meat for homesteading. Um, they really do taste a lot like chicken, except they're not as greasy. They don't have as much fat. Um, it's very tender and moist, so, and we all know the rumors about them rabbits, and they like to breed pretty well. So, as far as self-sufficiency goes, I believe homesteading animals, rabbits are probably one of the best to have. You're sure to have a stock of meat. And like I said, you can use rabbit in any kind of chicken recipe substitute the chicken for the rabbit anything like that they're good for uh, let's work on this side a little bit okay. try to get up underneath this back side Taken away from that hide, nice and gentle. So see, just like we had up here, now I can kind of have that little membrane. So I'm gonna stick my knife here to start separating that backside. Okay, I'm gonna separate up here. You're never coming to me, never again. going to kind of do a little cut here around the tail we have that cartilage there there we go all right so now that we have the tail separated and the hides off the legs now you'll see what i mean about inside out like a piece of cloth. So we're just gonna kind of give it a little tug here. You see how it just kind of comes down. You can use your knife to help separate that membrane there. Keep it coming. No coda. No rabbit skin for you. You'll get some yummy treats in a minute. Puppy always likes when we do this because you know she knows that we get 
treats out of it. Now, I'm also a firm believer in utilizing as much of an animal as possible. Um, whether that's obviously the fur that I would like to sell, the feet I'm going to be selling, or making our family different things like, you know, we can, I can sew these together and make a little lap blanket or, or you know, the lucky feet from a rabbit foot. We always like that, which is perfect for tomorrow on St. Patrick's Day, right? Mm -hmm. I have a lucky foot. And as uh, you've seen in a previous video, I uh, explained how to egg tan these hides and save and preserve the rabbit feet. So if you go back through my video, you'll see my explanation on how to tan this rabbit hide with egg yolk. It's a pretty nice method. It mimics the um, brain tanning and it worked really well. All right, so here we are. We're just working this down, getting that skin off, nice and easy. Try not to get any holes in it. And, you know, getting holes in the skin, especially a rabbit skin with how thin it is, it happens. Um, but you, obviously you want to try not to do that. You can always mend a little hole if you have to. That's why it's good to have a seamstress in the family. You need one of those because I can't do it. <laughs> Never been good with a sewing needle. Alright, so here we are. Let's see how it's just kind of falling off almost. that going separating now we're getting to the point where we're getting close to the head here I'm gonna to try to get it down as far as I can and I'm going to try to pull the skin straight off the head and see I've done it once before pretty well um, a couple other times I've tried I didn't do very well with it so we'll see how this one goes Start getting that leg separated. Not the leg, the little arm. All right, so let me see. I'm going to pull down a little bit and see where we're at here. Okay, see, now we have the arms exposed and the head starting to expose, connected with that membrane. So I'm just going to try to easily separate that much as I can without the knife. Try to get that membrane here separated. There's that. Try to get some of that membrane off the head. Let's see here. All right, we're gonna pull again and see. Tristan, can you come here and hold this knife for me? Just like that, don't move. All right. Back up, Coda. Let's see if we can get the arms out first. There's one arm, there's the other one. Move the other arm. Okay. Now, let's see. Try to work it a little bit more. Try not to cut any of the skin off. 
and I took the head straight off. So we might be able to still get it. I'm gonna treat something real. Depending here. Yeah, you playing with the leaves. I'm giving Cole a treat something. All right, well, I'm gonna have to play with that. But as you see, we got the armholes. Um, Go get the weave. We will split this in half. Go get the weave. Down the center. Get the weave. I, and then I will do the um, drying process by adding our salt to the hide. Um, hopefully, as I play with this later, I can take the head off of there and still have the head intact. So we'll see about that. All right, Tristan, take that. All right. So the last part. Well, second to last part, I guess, is we're going to gut the rabbit. And then after we gut the rabbit, I will saw off the legs and I will preserve them as well. So I'll go ahead and show you. So viewer discretion advised, obviously, for all of this. Um, I will now make a slice at the surface from here all the way down. And it just exposes everything inside of there. So that a lot will just start red. falling on its own. Now a rabbit's pretty easy. It just comes right out with a little tug and a pull. Let's get the urine sack out of there. Right into a bucket. Okay. Start pulling down here. Get everything out of here. We have some nice fat, so nice healthy rabbit. Everything looks healthy and good. Just let that fall down. Just like so. Okay. All right, now if you come over here, you see this membrane here, this is the diaphragm. Um, you can just pull it apart on a rabbit and you have your lungs exposed there. So you want to get in there and pull out the lungs. And then the heart is in there as well. So we've got the heart. Make sure you get in there to get all the lungs out. And there's no, nothing's left there. A little bit of fat for the puppy to eat. There you go. So that's it. You have it. Okay, we have a skinned, completely skinned, um, gutted, ready for the feet to be taken off and the hide to be tanned and saved for whether we're going to make something or we're going to sell it. So we'll have to decide, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I hope that helped you in your journey. If you're going to start raising rabbits now this method here can be used for many other small game squirrel right anything for the most part even deer it's you know just bigger it's the same process so I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned and until next time take care